Justin Trudeau. Suffice it to say that Justin Trudeau is Owen Wilson from Meet the Parents, except without the woodworking skill. Uh, Justin Trudeau is one of the more obnoxious, sycophantic, ridiculous, idiotic, teenage girls in a boy's body that I've ever seen. I mean, it's just, it's insane. The guy's only famous because his dad was Gary Trudeau. He, his previous life, what, what did he do in his previous career? I can't remember. It was something ridiculous. It was like he was a grocery checker or something dumb. He was, not that grocery checkers are dumb, but it's not really a qualification for being prime minister of Canada. His, his career before that, let's see. In 2009, he was appointed to the Liberal Party's Critic for Youth and Multiculturalism. In 2011, he was appointed as critic for secondary education. He was a he he worked as a teacher in Vancouver. He completed one year of an engineering program, one year, and then one year of a master's program in environmental geography, and uh, and he worked in and he was an athlete or something. And so there's a bunch of pictures with his shirt off, and apparently this makes the lady swoon or some such nonsense. In any case, uh, Justin Trudeau was on camera and he said several silly things on camera. Here is one of the silly things that he said on camera. He was asked, someone wanted to ask him a question about mankind. The person asking the question happened to be a female student, like a woman. So Justin Trudeau mansplains to her that she shouldn't use the word mankind for, oh my goodness, just watch this, watch this moron. Maternal love is the love that's going to change the future of mankind. So we'd like you to look uh, we, we like to say people kind, not necessarily mankind. What the F is wrong with this guy? People kind? Do you mean humankind, like an actual word? People kind? As Jack Handy once said, mankind is made up of two words, mank and ind. You don't know what either of them means, and that's why mankind is so mysterious. But still, I, like, Justin, Justin Trudeau, my God, the man is, if the song Imagine could take human form and then eat a Tide Pod, that would be Justin Trudeau. He is just, the, do you understand the stupidity of this? First of all, the word mankind comes from humankind. It is just a shortened ver version of humankind. Is there any woman on earth who is serious about feeling offended when people say mankind? Of course, mankind includes women. Okay, we are the species of man. It doesn't mean we are a species only of men. <sighs> oh, the levels of stupidity. But this is supposed to be empowering for women. Honestly, if, if you're a woman and you feel empowered because a man just explained, mansplained to a woman that she can't use the word mankind. <laughs> If that makes you feel more feminist because Justin Trudeau just told a female student who was talking about the power of motherly love that she shouldn't use the word mankind, that makes you feel like a real feminist, let me suggest that something is wrong with you in the head. That wasn't the only dumb thing that Justin Trudeau said yesterday. Justin Trudeau also compared ISIS terrorists, apparently, to immigrants from Vietnam, Greece, and Italy, which makes perfect sense. First of all, the fact that one of the reasons Canada is successful as a country uh, is because we have been open to people fleeing persecution, fleeing uh, war zones, uh, looking for a better life for themselves and their kids. When we uh, welcomed in uh, waves of refugees, whether it was the Ismaili refugees in the early 70s, whether it was the Vietnamese boat people uh, in the early 80s, whether it was uh, people set, fleeing the devastation of uh, the Second World War uh, from Southern Europe in the 50s and 60s, the Italian communities, the Greek communities, the, the, the Portuguese communities and others. Okay, so here's the problem with this. He, the question that he was asked here, the question that led to him saying all of this was a question about letting in people who could be affiliated with ISIS. Right? So the guy asked him a question and it said, how are you going to protect future Canadians like my young daughter 10, 15, 20 years from now when you're letting in people with an ideology that just does not conform to what we're doing here? And then Trudeau immediately lumped in a bunch of people who may be sympathetic to terrorists with all the other refugees coming in from all the other countries. He doesn't say we're going to ideologically screen people, which would be the proper answer. Instead, he says this because Justin Trudeau must have been dropped on his head as a baby. But it's okay because he comes from a famous family. Lest it be said that America is stupid for electing President Trump or for electing George W. Bush or for electing Kennedys or, or legacy families. Canadians, before you get on your high horse about this, this is your prime minister, guys. Eh? Like I just... Good call. Good call. Okay, so if this is the new feminist movement, Justin Trudeau lecturing women about using the word mankind, that was not the end of the stupidity. The New York Times... So weighing in on some other topics affecting your area, Canada, you're in Toronto right now, and Justin Trudeau, he interrupts a woman at a town hall. She's asking a question, and he didn't like one of the words that she used. Listen to this soundbite, and then uh, we'll get your reaction. All right. So that's why we came here today to ask you to also look into the policies that religious charitable organizations have in our legislation so that it can also be changed because maternal love 
is the love that's going to change the future of mankind. So we'd like you to look uh, we, we like to say people kind, not necessarily mankind, because uh, yeah. it's more inclusive. There we go, exactly. <laughs> and so, the crowd roars. Yeah, well, it's quite, the, it's quite the performance. I mean, I'm afraid that our Prime Minister is only capable of running his ideas on a few very narrow ideological tracks. We saw the first evidence of that when he put his cabinet together. He insisted upon making it 50% women, despite the fact that only about 22% of the elected MPs were women. And it was easier for him to do that than it was for him to screen people for the sort of competence that would actually be necessary mm. to be cabinet members. So we've seen a fair bit of this behavior, but that was the most egregious example, I suppose. Dr. Peterson, I recall you uh, taking some heat because you said you would refuse to use these gender neutral pronouns. Why was that? Well, I actually said that I would refuse to use the pronouns that were mandated by law because they were mandated by law. I feel that it's completely inappropriate of the government to decide what language the citizenry should speak. There's never been an example of that in British common law history, and I believe that that was a very, very bad precedent. I didn't want to use language that I thought was generated by radical leftist propagandists, and so I said I wouldn't do it. I saw one tweet this morning that said Neil Armstrong should have said one small step for people kind. Yeah, well, you know, Trudeau was listening to an earnest woman try to discuss something important, and he interjected an ideological um, statement in the middle of the dialogue, and that indicates, I think, precisely the way he thinks. And I don't think he does think. I think he runs an ideology in his head and accepts the output without question. And I think we're really going to pay for it in Canada in ways that we can't yet imagine. Well, we're going to find out because you believe it's coming to us here in America and you've been to both countries uh, frequently. Now let's talk about something else that builds on your premise. This whole father-daughter yeah. dance that are being canceled around the country because of gender guidelines. Even Donald Trump, Trump Jr. weighed in with this quote. The father-daughter dances inherently leave people out, not just because of transgender status, just life in general. These can be really uncomfortable triggering events. That according to Jared Fox, New York City Department of Education. So that's their response to cancel the dance because uh, there's a lot yeah. of people that can't go. Is there a problem with that? Well, the problem with that is self-evident, but it's part of this absolute onslaught by the radical leftists on the fundamental normative structures of our culture. And if you're going to cancel everything that's triggering to everyone, then you're going to cancel everything altogether because there isn't a single thing that anyone can ever say or do that isn't going to offend someone. And the idea that this is being done so that certain people's feelings won't be hurt, I think, is absolutely absurd. It's not compassion and care that's driving this. It's the desire to put forward a very pernicious ideology. And it's being, ve it's being very, very successful in its application. But, uh, Dr. Peterson, they say that they're doing that to make things more inclusive. Yeah, well, they say all sorts of things. And they are a very small, noisy, dangerous minority. And it's really appalling that we're bending over backwards to, um, to, to do their bidding without question you under know, the name of compassion. A lot of my friends have been posting pictures of the daddy-daughter dance recently, and I think the pictures are so cute. Are little girls going to miss out on, on, this, on a memory? Well, uh, yes, for, for sure. And the thing is that even your terminology when you're talking about little girls is something that's going to be increasingly forbidden as we demolish the classic gender ideas and no one's going to benefit from that and people it's going start, to be a real catastrophe I, I mean people are even talking about deciding on what gender they uh, they're going to be as youngsters yeah well that's happening all over it's another it's justin trudeau who cannot handle the word mankind this is um <laughs> This is the most Canadian thing that has ever happened. Watch this video. Maternal love is the love that's going to change the future of mankind. So we'd like you to look uh, at we, that. we like to say people kind, not necessarily mankind, because uh, yeah. it's more inclusive. There we go, exactly. <laughs> yes, thank you. We can all learn from each other. 
And look at that smile. You see the smile on his face like he did a good thing? Like he's the he's the actually the ultimate virtue signal. Yeah, this I was the, about to say, it's like the worst case of virtue signaling. No, 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 no. That, no. That smirk, like, didn't I do well? Didn't <laughs> I do well? Aren't I, aren't I a horrible. good prime minister? Oh, God. This is the guy, by the way, who wore Ramadan socks to gay pride. This is what I'm talking about, this intersectionality of the left, the coalition building that they're attempting to do, um, which appears now basically to have reached a point of self-engorgement. They've tried to give everybody in the world, every single person who exists in America, they've tried to put them into some kind of victimhood category. They've tried to give them something to complain and, of course, miraculously hate capitalism about, uh, to the point where the only people who are left are straight white males, um, never mind that uh, they invented everything and do all the good shit. What's been great about the UK and the US uh, as, as countries that have had immigration over and over again, successive waves of immigration, both ethnic and uh, various other kinds, is that people have come to the UK, people have come to the US with values in common. They've come and they have become British or become Americans. They have come believing in democracy, capitalism and freedom. There's one group, one religious culture that has failed to do that everywhere that it has arrived. British Muslims are now less integrated and less assimilated, not more than their parents and their grandparents' generation. We're now sending as many people to ISIS as Belgium, which is like a jihadi hotspot, right? Um, you don't have large numbers of uh, working class Muslims in this country. You have terrorists and you have nice middle class people who could afford to fly here, right? You don't have 1.4 million migrants like Germany does. But when you start to, if your politicians go the same way as Trudeau in Canada, when you start to, you're gonna see some of this stuff happen. And, you know, in answer to your question, the best